Coleman, uh, can you tell us where you were born? Well, you see, I've been explaining to people for years and years how uh, my mother and father used to travel an awful lot, you know. So, um, and the truth of my birthplace was never actually out because I was born at sea, you understand? But I'm supposed to have been born in St. Joseph, Missouri. St. Joseph, Missouri. Mm -hmm. I see where. Uh, on the Atlantic Ocean. But you know, on, on a boat. Uh -huh. See what I mean? Then that, then that uh, it's hard to say actually where my real birthplace would be there, isn't it? You know? How did that happen? Were you folks traveling to Europe or...? They were coming back. Were, were they in trouble in the same? Huh? No. no. Mm -mm. But, uh, any, huh? any kind? my father could play one piece. He had one little piece that he made up on the piano, but, uh, very elementary, though. I, mean, I picked it up when I was about five years old. And your mother play any instrument? Mom used to play the organ at church. Then she played piano. You have any brothers or sisters? No, I, uh, I had a sister that was, um, two years and eight months old when she died. I, I was, before I was born. So you brought up in St. Joe, Missouri? Mm-hmm. You were still there? Yeah, well, you know, not really, but I mean, I didn't go to school. I went to school there uh, very early, you know, but then I went to, um, went over to Kansas and went to school. Went to school at Topeka and out to Washburn, you know, and then I went to Chicago and went to school. But uh, my schooling around St. Joe was very short. When did you first come into contact with, uh, with any kind of music? Oh, uh, well, you see, I, I, I practically started out with music. Like, you know, I started on the piano when I was only five or six years old, that's all. And then uh, I was always interested in music. And uh, then I stayed around it. I, all my friends, I used to find a lot of different friends, they all was playing too, you know what I mean? And, uh, and uh, so when I went to school, I continued music all the time, and I played in all the school orchestras, and, you know, I used to have to transpose cello parts on the tenor. <laughs> oh, uh, on the tenor, when did you uh, give up piano? Oh, I, I never did give up the piano, but uh, I, I got the tenor for my ninth birthday, and I started playing it. And then, uh... Sorry, when, when you were nine, uh, the tenor was not exactly a, a widespread instrument, was it? Oh, it was being used. Yeah, it was being used quite a lot. Wasn't they couldn't play too much on it, but uh, it was plenty of them being plenty being played. Yeah, but um, uh, it seemed like they 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 uh, I don't think they they didn't play jazz like I did. You know, I just had a, a, a natural feeling for it on the tenor, I guess. But you did hear jazz when you were a kid. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of jazz? What was your life? Oh, um, I don't know. There were several different kinds, like, um, you could hear there was a lot of people that could, uh, um, execute well and play over their instruments and tongue their instruments and, as a matter of fact, play them quite right, you know? And there were a lot of people that used to make a lot of, a lot of noises funnier noise you could make, the better it was, you know, and things like that. Like the trumpet players used to carry around buckets and things, <laughs> make odd sounds. Was the first jazz you heard in St. Joe? First jazz I heard, yes. Yeah, well, that was when I was just a little, just a little kid. Yeah, I heard jazz right then. Um, these uh, places like down Second Street, <laughs> where it used to be less like the the real Tenderloin neighborhood, more or less, and uh, that's where they used to have the jazz bands playing all night and all that, you know. Because I didn't get a chance to hear much of that, but I used to hear a lot of records. I used to hear a lot of records, and I used to hear all the jazz people that would come. To the, it was a theater they called the um, Lyceum, and uh, everybody that came through there, like all variety, played the Lyceum. Can you think of the, of the first... Uh, or of any of the, of the records that you can remember from those days, or of any individual guy that you, that you thought was good? The ones I know of is people like uh, 
Louis Armstrong and Buster Bailey and Joe Oliver and people like that, yes. See, well, I heard them. I was, I was I heard them, and let me see, first time, I think, because uh, in Chicago. I was going to school. That's when I heard them first. Well, how old were you when you first went to Chicago? Oh, I was really young. Hmm. Mm, perhaps around, I was around 12, around that age. Did you think even then that you were going to play a horn for a living? I never thought about it in that way, but I knew I was going to play the horn because I was already playing it. But I never thought about it commercially, really. Actually, I had played already commercially by the time I was 12. Well, I played for the, like, this, like schools. Uh, when I was like I was going out to school, they'd have dances and things like that. I, I played all those. Mm -hmm. All the other kids, all the other kids dancing, they all, they were big kids way up in high school or out of high school or getting ready to go to college or something, you know what I mean? And, uh, they were the ones doing the dancing, but I was playing. Because I was, I, I was as big as I am now when I was 12. I, was, I, think, I think I stopped growing when I was about 12. <laughs> I don't remember getting any taller. <laughs> what kind of a band was it that you played in when you played school dances? Um, these early ones we used to play, used to use a um, piano drums and myself. Yeah, and once I had, um, there was one boy that I played with out in Topeka. He couldn't play in anything but F sharp. Every piece he played was in F sharp. So um, I had naturally had to learn how to play in my G sharp on the tenor. They put me in G sharp, you know, and I had to just learn how to play every piece in G sharp. That was good for me, though, I guess. That gave me an early start on transposition, you know. That was, I needed that. That helped me out when I was, later on, when I was studying transposition and composition and all that stuff when I was going to school, I mean, you know, made it not too difficult for me. I knew what it was. Did you notice anything special when you went to Chicago? Did you notice right away that there was a difference? Was it more jazz or better jazz? Or, or, or did it just all seem the same? Um, it seemed... Uh, I don't think I heard anything too much, uh, too new what I... Knew already, actually. I, I I think I knew most of this at that time. You know. I uh, uh, guess I'd uh, practically the same as what I've been listening to. You know, because uh, you heard the same kind of jazz in Kansas City. Had you been there before you went to Chicago? Oh, I'd, I'd been over to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. See, Kansas City was only about fifty miles from St. Joe, and. Uh, I had been in Kansas City for, you know, visit like two or three days a weekend and things like that. Remember who some of the people were in Kansas City you heard? Mm, let me see. I remember there used to be a little boy in Kansas City, and he was also in Chicago. But I think he originally came from Kansas City. Um, a little boy named uh, Stump and Evans used to play tenor, tenor and clarinet. Yeah, I remember Stump. I I, I don't, wouldn't know what he looked like now, but but uh, I remember Stump Evans at that time. He played quite well too. Well, when you were a kid, did you hear much ragtime piano in St. Louis and that, that, that area? I used to, I used to hear, hear piano every place. Ragtime piano. Mm. Or was it blues piano? Mm. It was more like. More like Boogie Woogie, I guess. Uh, uh, mixed up. Uh, kind of mixed up. Very good. What was the pattern of, um, of jobs in, in those days? I mean, I'm still talking about when you were a, a wee kid. Yeah. Uh, a little fella. Uh, mostly in bars. No, it wasn't like it is today. These these things about bars happened, they started, I think they perhaps started uh, more or less back in, well, back in the 30s. 